Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Ed and in this video I want to talk to you about keeping your Kali Linux distribution updated. Now we know that OffSec uh, release updates continuously for Kali Linux and the Purple Edition came out recently and there's been a numerous set of updates that have uh, been released and this morning I ran an update on my machine because I haven't updated it in a while and took about half an hour to update. Uh, it's not the most powerful machine, it's a virtual machine that's running Kali. But I just wanted to show you uh, the steps that I do to update my distribution. The first thing I do is I launch an elevated um, shell or terminal, if you want to call it. It's running as root, as not as, as my own. And I issue the command sudo apt update uh, double uh, end and then I do a full upgrade. If I push enter on this, uh, it goes and checks the distribution points and then it will tell you, listen here, these will need to be uh, updated and there's other stuff that will be removed, for example. So if I press yes and then I press enter, then what it does is it'll go and perform everything that it needs to perform that is listed. And then when it's done, it will then tell you that it's done. Now, sometimes you get a, an error when something errors out. And I've had one of my distributions actually just didn't want to update anymore. It just kept on failing, kept on failing. I did cleanup after cleanup and removed stale stuff and still. So I eventually had to uh, reinstall Kali Linux from the beginning. But just be aware that stuff is continuously changing the landscape is changing there's always new um, items coming out new applications there's stuff that's not being updated anymore that's being removed and keep your stuff up to date this is especially uh, what i do uh, from an exam perspective as well is i always have one version that's the latest and i have a version that is maybe two to three weeks older because what i found sometimes is that the newest version the exams stuff doesn't want to work uh, impact it doesn't work what want to work or um, for example running metasploit can give you library errors gives you memory errors for example and then you have to fall back to another machine so Yes, it's important to keep your stuff updated, but also remember if you're doing exams, always have a backup. And I have two backups uh, in Azure, I got, and then I've got a physical that I do stuff as well. So I always have something to fall back on, and it's helped me. It saved me in some of my exams where I just ran into errors and I just stop and I bring up the other machine and I just continue with the exam. And once it's finished, then I'll go and troubleshoot why that machine didn't want to do what I wanted to do, or there's something in a new version that, for example, um, breaks. And one of the big key things that breaks is uh, Bloodhound. Bloodhound doesn't always work with the latest version, doesn't like stuff on the new version sometimes, and you have, sometimes have to fall back to an older version. So just my two cents on this. I just thought I'd give you an, an update. Keep your stuff updated and always have a backup. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for watching.